Alright everybody, welcome back to another episode of the F1 2007 Career Mode series. Today, we're racing in Monza, the home of Ferrari. And speaking of Ferrari, uh, we, in the last episode, obviously, it wasn't a very eventful race for us in general because we pretty much made a mistake that cost us late in the race, gave us 5th place, and now we're 25 points behind Felipe Massa, our rival, who basically won in Belgium. And we're looking forward to coming back from a pretty much lackluster race on our part. But uh, the good thing is that we are actually on the pole for this race. It was a wet qualifying and I succeeded and excelled in the session and we got pole position. Now all we have to hope for is that we can fend off the Ferraris and McLarens and get our, what is it, third win? Or yes, third win of the season. So let's hope. <laughs> Anyways, 13 laps of the Italian Grand Prix, here we go. Alright, here we are. Much better weather than in Belgium. It's actually very sunny. Thank you, Italy. So our strategy is hard to mediums. Okay, interesting. I'm surprised there's no soft tires. I don't know. It's kind of strange to me that there's it's not there. <laughs> but anyways, here we go. 13 laps. Where's Massa? Oh lord, have mercy. Massa's right there. <laughs> well, hopefully we can get a nice start as the lights are off and away we go. Pretty good start. I'm going to try to cover off Massa. Yep, there we go. Weber is behind us. Wow, I didn't even notice Weber was behind us. As we go into the first turn. I think we're going to fend off Massa. Yes, we are. Good. Yeah, we just got to hope <laughs> we can at least defend against that speed of the Ferrari. Yeah, look at that. It's going now. <laughs> Here we come. Oh, man, he was close there. Oh, look at that. Toyota is cheering for us. I have a, a, what is it, the lower downforce setup on here, so it should make this car a little bit faster, but okay, I'm not sure if it'll be it. enough, though, especially on this straight and on the front stretch, but we'll see. Oh, boy. He's here. He's back. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> I will try to defend a lot more if I can. I will. Oh, man, but he's got past us. Yeah, his car is way too fast. It's faster than ours. But honestly, I think as long as we can try to stay with him, or at least stay in this position, rather than being, you know, out of the podium slot, I think we could be good in at least contending for this championship. That was a bad exit. That was very bad. Oh, we're catching him. We're catching him. Oh, we're going to get an outside overtake? I thought I was going to hit his, his back tire right there. Oh, that was such a nice move. Oh my goodness. That was a really good move. I mean, he's got to come back at us, but damn, that was so good. Especially around the outside there of the Lesmos. Damn, that was awesome. So after getting overtaken on lap one, we got we overtook Massa on lap two. <laughs> so that's good. Him and Raikkonen are behind us. Oh, Lord. McLarens are doing very well. I noticed that. Red Bulls are, like, are behind the Ferraris. <laughs> Oh boy, here we go. DRS is enabled this lap, but we're not going to need it as we're going to go down the inside again. Oh, Massa locked up. It's going to be tight. Oof. We made it stick. Good. Thank goodness. Yeah, this race is very crucial if we want to keep our championship hopes alive. Because remember, we're 25 points behind. A, uh, a full race win gives us 26 points. But So hopefully we can at least try to win this race. It'll be good for us in general because we haven't won since Canada. Ah, he passed us again, damn it. Well, I wonder if I can make a move down the inside. Let's see. It's going to be a late move. He locks up again. Oh, he bounced off at the curb. <laughs> oh, that's good. I'm surprised that we're, we're able to, like, stay with him on the straight. That time, really, there was contact, but even on the other lap, it was insane through the Lesmos. A new strategy is available. Mm, new strategy, let's see. 
Lap 9, lap 7? Okay. I'm gonna go with lap 7. I doubt there's probably gonna be a safety car coming out. I don't think so. Unlike in Belgium, where it kind of screwed us over. Yeah, I don't see it happening. I don't know. I could eat my words, but I really don't see it happening. Here he comes. He's going again. Uh, but we're close to the braking zone, so we're going to make a lunge into turn one. Is he going to lock up again? No, he's not. I didn't see any locking up. <laughs> okay, I think we got a pretty good sized lead. We're actually like seconds away from them. <laughs> so he's not going to get DRS on this straight. Down to pair or down to the Ascari chicane. So I think Raikkonen may get past him. I wonder. I'm gonna watch that battle closely. Oh, Mass is catching up on us. No. Oh, we got the fastest, the fastest lap. lap of the race. <laughs> That's very good. That's very good. If we want to get that extra point, Mass is way too far back. Oh boy. It's gonna be another battle down this front stretch. I believe we pit. We're pitting this lap. That's pit seven. Lap. Yep. There you so go. I blocked now. Mass as you can see. <laughs> Because I want to be able to at least make another lunge into turn one. If I can, which we're going to do right now. <laughs> Pretty sure the AI is getting tired of me doing that. <laughs> I'm surprised Raikkonen hasn't taken the opportunity to capitalize on this. I'm surprised he's just sitting back there. <laughs> okay, we got a pretty good sized lead now. Already halfway through this race. This race flashed by, <laughs> especially with the battles, but that's very good. Anyways, we're gonna come into the pits now, off of this final turn into Parabolica. And here we come. Slow it down, slow it down, slow it down. Massa is pitting with us. Raikkonen went by, of course. So yeah, there's Alonso, third now. Yeah, McLarens haven't been very good in this race. I haven't seen them. Very interesting. I'm looking behind me just to see where Massa is. Okay, good pit stop, very good. Oh, I think Massa got held up. Massa's getting held up in the pits. Can you believe this? And Weber is going to come out behind us. Complete. Can you believe what see we just saw? Oh, see, that's that's a disadvantage with having the pit box like as the, like immediately when you come into the pits. If others are pitting, you have to get you get held up there. Oh man, I think okay, we got to produce a good outlap now to get out in front of Raikkonen and the others, and hopefully we can. Get this win in the bag. Okay, I can see right now Ferrari of Raikkonen is pitting. I think Alonso is too. Not sure who the third car is. I I I, I don't know who that is. That might or actually that might be Coltard. That actually might be Coltard, yeah. yeah. Oh boy, it's gonna be tight. I see Raikkonen going out just now. There he is. And we claim back the number one spot. Let's go, P1. But obviously now Raikkonen oh now Raikkonen might be our rival here for this win. So this will be very interesting. But as we can see, with that hold up in the pit lane, Massa, I think, I think I believe he's in six, but got beat out by Coltard, Weber, and Alonso. Oh man. I'm just saying right now, this may be the miracle that we needed, and it came at a perfect time. <laughs> Absolutely perfect time. But obviously I don't want to get my hopes up too high because we still got a few more laps to go. Oh, another fast lap. It's very good. Uh, it feels like it, it feels like we're back nope. to our original form. Oh, Massa, you ass! I was just about to say it feels like our our old form when we were in like China and Montreal, just absolutely dominating, and also just you know getting our precious points <laughs> for this championship. It feels exactly like that. Oh, looks like Massa is climbing up the order one by one. He's fourth now. Oh boy. So he passed Alonso, he passed Weber. Okay, so Coltard. Oh man, Coltard, you better defend your position very well. In the meantime, Raikkonen is hunting us down. So, you know, one Ferrari gone, and now one, another one here to challenge us. But he's not really that fast compared to his teammate, I can see. So this may be very good for us. I think we honestly have this win in the bag. Alright, oh boy, Massa's in third now. But he's way too far back. This is your final now, yeah, oh final boy, but Kimi race. Raikkonen though. He's on us as the final lap has started. He's going to the inside of us, no. We got to we gotta make that... We got to defend it on the outside. Make sure he doesn't get the switch back. There we go, nice. What I was originally going to say was that um, Massa's way too far back, obviously. Eight seconds. So yeah, 
Oh man, but Raikkonen though, he's giving us a real challenge, just like Massa did. Oh, but he backs off in this turn. I think we may have had... Th I think we might have gotten this in the bag. I think we might have. Because Ra Raikkonen slipping out of that turn, now just gives us an advantage. Just to cruise home now. Yep, almost a second ahead. And off the final turn. We won in China, we won in Canada, and now we win in Monza. Great job. Car was on fire today. We have done everything we wanted today. Here we are then, a thoroughly deserved win in Italy after another excellent Grand Prix. So, Anthony, what made the difference out there today? Well, this was a real team victory. They put together a solid strategy today that appeared well suited to the conditions out on track. The driver did everything that was expected of them in the moment to really execute the team's plan to perfection. A shining example of how F1 really is a team sport. As we await the winners to take their positions on the podium, one thing is clear. Alpha Tori have really shown their prowess on the track. This is a team that isn't afraid to take risks, whether that's on the circuit or in the new talent they hire. Today, those risks certainly paid off. Oh boy, what a race. Oh, Lewis Hamilton snatched the fastest laps. That's good. So we got 25 points, finishing first, obviously winning the race. Truly, eh, he's out of the points a little bit, but man, the McLarens were quiet today, but Massa put up a good fight, and so did Raikkonen too. And talk about the Red Bull, David Coulthard, very nice. Standings, we are 15 points behind, so that's good. I mean, it's... Obviously, I think if Massa stayed in 5th or 4th for that instance, I think maybe we could have taken the lead, but it's better than 25, that's what I can say, <laughs> overall. But, uh, wow, what a race. Car was absolutely on fire, it was very fast. Well, great race, great race. A mir it was the miracle that we needed, and it definitely came at the right time. <laughs> And also, look at all these upgrades. This could be very good for the next race, which is Japan. I actually forgot I put Japan on this race, on this calendar. <laughs> I'm actually curious. I'm actually glad to try these cars at that track. It's gonna be fun. But regardless, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I hope you all are enjoying the daily uploads in general. Siege and F1. It's just it's a really good combo so far, and, I, and I'm in probably the best of moods to make these videos, and I and I couldn't be any happier. But regardless, if you did enjoy this video, please make sure to drop a like and a subscribe is always appreciated. And without further ado, I will see you all in Japan. Goodbye.